okay so here we are going to see how to create a database from the command line so first thing is open a terminal there we will log it as root into the mysql server mysql minus u root and minus p p is for password which when we press enter it will ask us to enter the password optionally you can specify the host name so though it is not necessary when you are on the same machine itself so this can be omitted okay so we will connect here i'll give my root password and we are connected to the mysql server please note this one is mysql you could be having mariadb uh, both are equivalent over here there are slight differences while giving the command uh, so we will have a look at that so once you are logged in as this particular root user we can create a d database now before going ahead let us uh, decide on the database name password etc beforehand so this is what we are planning to do we are creating a user called as foo user we will set this thing as the password database name would be foo site db and the database type specifically for drupal it has been advised that the collation type should be either this or this one so to create the database we will do create database who site db character set utf eight mb4 call it as the f eight mb4 underscore unicode underscore c so this is what will get our database ready so our database is created next thing is we need to create a user who will be assigned with this database so we will create a user our user called as the foo user create user foo user at localhost and here itself we will assign the password for the user identified by the password that we want to use okay so we will set this as our password so the user is created now what we want to do is we want to assign this database to this user okay so for that we will simply say grant all on the database name that is who site db dot star to the user which we have created so our user is foo user at local localhost okay so this user is now granted with the database that we have been created so let's quit from the root login and we will now log in as this particular user and check if the user has been given that database quit now we will run the same command again instead of root this time the user will be foo user and password again we will enter the password later on 
here so we'll enter the password okay so we are logged in as that particular user here you can say show databases and you will see the foo site database is assigned to this particular user so now our database is created user is created this can now be used with either your drupal installation or whatever next purpose you plan to use it for